Hey everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new free plugin from Kive Audio called Extressor Nuke. This is a slimmed down version of their full Extressor plugin. Both of these plugins obviously are based off of the Empirical Labs Distressor. One thing you have to keep in mind is that with the full version Extressor, you're able to change the ratio and a bunch of other controls, but on Extressor Nuke you are limited to a brick wall limiting style where you're unable to change the compression ratio and it's infinity to one and works as a limiter. But because it has a mix knob, you're able to mix some of the unlimited signal back in with the limited signal and achieve something very close to parallel compression. In this case, it's parallel limiting, but that's also a very valuable thing in the context of a mix. And I'm going to demonstrate that and show you a couple different examples of how I was able to use Extressor Nuke in my mix. Very quickly, I want to show you Plugin Doctor, where I have both Kive Audio Extressor Nuke and IK Multimedia T-Rex Compressor loaded up. Both of them are based off of the same Empirical Labs Distressor. And the top line you can see here is Nuke, and it has that hard knee and brick wall style transfer curve. Whereas I set a 2 to 1 ratio, I guess I could change this to 4 to 1 on Compressor. There you go, that's the 4 to 1 compression ratio. So unfortunately, you're limited to this brick wall limiting right here with Extressor Nuke. The full version, you're able to change that. You can see that when I set Compressor to its max compression ratio, it looks very similar, if not almost identical, to Extressor Nuke. Quickly, let's take a look at the harmonic analysis to see what kinds of harmonics Extressor Nuke and Compressor add to your signal. Right here, you can see Extressor Nuke, and I've muted Compressor. Here, you can see all of the harmonics that it's creating above this fundamental frequency of 500 Hz. You can also see some foldback aliasing, but luckily this plugin has oversampling, and look how much you can clean it up just by turning on oversampling. Now you're getting some great harmonics here, and you don't have to deal with any digital aliasing. Now I'm going to bring in Compressor. Here's Compressor. You can also see that it adds quite a bit of harmonics, actually less than Extressor. Now that we've taken a more technical look at Extressor, let's see what it sounds like on some different sources. In my opinion, this plugin is going to be most valuable for parallel limiting on drums, leveling out basses and vocals, for this free version, I find that it works best on transient heavy material, but I've also found that it's really useful for bringing out the pick sound on guitars or basses, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute as well. Currently, I have Extressor as the only plugin across a drum bus in Easy Drummer 3, and I'm going to show you just how much snap you can add to the drums using Extressor. Let's hear what that sounds like. Right off the bat, that sounds great. This would be extremely useful on a parallel compression or limiting channel for your drums. You can tell with this plugin you're adding a lot of bite to the transient, which I really like. Almost like a clickiness, which can be mixed in with the mix knob and add some attack to your drums. Really like that. You can tell it's kind of eating, it's grabbing the transients, which is exactly what a compressor and in particular a limiter does. But you're able to dial that back using the mix knob, so let's try that out. I'm going to dial back the mix knob with the same settings I have here. I find that the normal release works best in my opinion in this context, but with the fast release you're not going to extend the sustain of the snare as much, so that could be very useful. Using Extressor with the mix knob at 50% or using it on a parallel channel and then mixing that channel back in with the original source, you can add a lot of snap to your drums, which I really like. But I also feel like this one is really pulling out a lot of the low end when I use it on material that has a lot of low end, and it's awesome. They have a sidechain high pass filter, so you can roll off the low end so that the compressor is not being activated as much or at all by these low frequencies. 
So let's test this out again. And I want you to listen to the kick in particular. When the sidechain high pass filter is off, you're going to be losing some of that low end in the kick. But when I roll the sidechain high pass filter up, you're going to hear much more of the low end of the kick retained, while also the same amount of action that it normally has on the snare. Let's listen to that. The next scenario where I found Extressor to be very useful is bringing out the pick sound on a picked bass guitar. I think this is a pretty good bass tone, but I also think it's lacking a little bit of attack that would help it sit better in the mix and cut through the mix in particular. So let's hear what this sounds like on a picked bass guitar. I'm going to start with it off and then I'll turn it on. You can hear that we're losing a lot of low end of the bass, and so I'm going to use the sidechain high pass filter again with a parallel mix to retain some of that low end while still bringing out the pick sound in the bass. Hopefully you could hear you get a little bit more attack on that pick, exactly what I wanted. Now I'll toggle Extressor on and off on the bass in the context of the whole mix. That mix definitely still needs some work, but hopefully you could hear the difference that it made on the bass. It's always important to try out these plugins in the context of a mix. Something could sound really good on its own, but once you bring it back in with the rest of the elements in a mix, you might realize that you don't like what the plugin was doing as much. In the same way that you can add some attack to the picking sound on a bass part, you can add some extra click and extra snap to a kick drum part. Here I have Extressor Nuke on both the kick in and the kick out. It's easy drummer, so they're routed to the same channel, and I'm using Extressor to add some attack to the kick. See what that sounds like. Again, I'm using the sidechain high pass filter to keep some of the low end of the kick while bringing out the attack in the mid range a little bit more. Here's Extressor Nuke on a snare top part. I ended up disabling it. I guess I didn't like what it was doing, but here's what it sounds like anyways.
I probably didn't end up using it on the snare top because I have a dedicated drum compression channel. I have this channel labeled Drum Slam, and it's where I normally use PSP Micro Comp with the heavy drum kit setting to add a lot of movement to the drums. As you'll hear, it brings out the attack of the kick and the snare a lot and kind of ducks the cymbals and the hi-hats when the kick and the snare are hitting, and I have it mixed in very low, minus 16 dB. And you'll hear this adds like a lot of life and breath to the drums. I really like using it for that. I also tried out Extressor Nuke, and I had slightly different EQs, but I'll turn on both plugins, both the compressor and the EQ, when putting them side by side. Here's what this channel normally sounds like with PSP Micro Comp. I originally called this a parallel drum compression channel, but it's actually a parallel drum limiting channel. You can see here the ratio for PSP Micro Comp is set to infinity to one, and it's also, I believe, infinity to one on Extressor Nuke. Limiting is basically extremely high ratio compression, so when you mix it in on a parallel channel, it acts like compression, but technically this is parallel limiting. Now for a shift from using Extressor in the context of an alternative rock mix, I now have a chill, kind of ambient song here, and I'm using Extressor on a bass patch, and on the drums. This bass sound isn't a standard bass guitar, it's more like a vocal, a low droning vocal with a very full low end, and it also has some kind of fluctuations throughout it where certain parts are a lot louder than others. It's not a very cohesive sound, it's a very airy sound, which is nice, but I wanted to kind of lock it and fit it in the mix better, so I'm using Extressor to kind of glue it and level it. You'll hear that it makes quite a big difference on this vocal bass part. I'll play it with the full mix to start and then I'll solo it on its own so you can hear what it's doing. A lot of the movement you can hear in that bass part is actually coming from Kickstart, where I'm basically fake chaining the bass. I'm doing rhythmic volume automation, and I think the effect works very well in this mix, but it was a little drastic. You can always bring down this mix knob here, but I wanted to just get a more glued sound after using Kickstart, so I placed this later in the chain after an equalizer and after Kickstart. And I think that Nuke works really well in this context. I'm kind of playing around with a couple different drum parts for this song, and this is a newer drum part I made. So let's see what Extressor Nuke sounds like on it. I actually haven't tried this plugin on this drum part yet.
So here's the settings that I would probably use if I use this on this drum part. Probably a 50 to 60% mix, normal or fast release, sidechain high pass filter around 150 hertz to keep some of the low end in the original part. Okay, that's about it for this look at Kive Audio Extressor Nuke. Even though I already have a full Distressor plugin, I think I actually will keep and use Extressor Nuke. It's super simple, very straightforward, and easy to slap on and get a good sound with, so I like that a lot. I'm yet to really compare this to the other Distressor I showed you, T-Rax Compressor. If you'd be interested in something like that, please leave it in the comments. Let me know if you want to see a comparison. That'd be interesting to do. But in general, I think this is definitely a plugin that you should try out, regardless of if you intend on keeping it or not. If you're all about free plugins, this is a must-have. It sounds great, it adds a lot of nice harmonic saturation. Oversampling option removes the aliasing, sidechain high-pass filter makes it more versatile, mix knob makes it more versatile. Overall, very good sound, adds a lot of snap to drums. I'm kind of late to the party in terms of using Distressor plugins, but this is something that I'm definitely going to be using in the future. Thanks a ton for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description, and have a good day.